Hi, my name is Michaela Harris. I appreciate you reaching out to Christian for this video. He and I both love making these for businesses because we hate seeing people get ripped off by those huge lead gen companies like Angie's that are going to sell the same lead to six different businesses. We have a passion for helping businesses grow and what I truly believe is one of the most effective ways to do this, especially being a service based company, is going to be to get to the first page of a specific Google search. Now, this is done by utilizing content, backlinks, and citations, and I'll explain each of these as I go, and then I'm going to show you what doing this could mean for growing your company and what kind of volume is available to you. So, I'm going to jump right in. I noticed that you didn't have a website, or at least not one that I could find, um, so that would be my first recommendation is to go and get a website, and I'll give you some tips on that in a little bit. Um, but I did see that you had a Google business profile, which is good. This is what's going to allow you to rank in the map section. Now, I wasn't sure, you know, kind of where to target. So I wanted to stick with Detroit just because this was kind of a large service area. So I wanted to stick with Detroit just for this example. But for the most part, when you do this, you're going to want to go get this Google business profile optimized so that you can outrank your competitors and be in the top three of the map section. And you're going to do this by getting more reviews, photos, and citations than your top competitors. Now, it helps to have those photos geotagged. Uh, it's not necessary, but it does help. And then, of course, you want to make sure you're getting those citations, which are just listing sites like Yelp or Yellow Pages that list your name, address, and phone number. And you want to make sure that when you do have your name, address, and phone number listed, it's exactly how it is on your business profile. You want to make sure you've got all your information here, as much of it as possible. Now, if I take a look here at pressure washing in Detroit, I'm going to see as a potential customer the top three businesses and maps and this first page of organic URLs. Nine out of ten people never make it to the second page of Google, and most won't even click more businesses. You want to be as easy as possible for your customers to find so that they actually see you and want to utilize your services. If they don't know you exist, they're not going to be able to use those services and come visit you if they don't know how to find your company or that it even exists. Now, this is why it's important to beat out your competitors and be in the top three. It's because there's a significant amount of people who are going to look in the maps and not never look down here in the organics. And there's also a significant amount of people who's going to look down here and never look in the maps. You want to be in as many places as possible so you're as easy as possible for them to find. Now, this guy right here is your top competitor for that search that I just showed you, Detroit Power Washing. Um, overall, his website's okay. It's not really the best. It's kind of basic. So uh, when you go build your website, you're going to want to use a platform like WordPress or Snaps. Those two are our two of my favorite because they are very search engine optimization friendly. So once you do this, you're going to want to structure it in a way that is going to target very specific things. This is how you're going to help your company grow. So you're going to want about 1500 to 2000 words of content on your homepage with good keywords throughout that content. Now that's important because that's specifically what Google algorithms look for when it crawls a web page is that 1400 words. Now, on your back pages, you're going to want to do about 500 to 750 words of content with good keywords throughout. And then, of course, you're going to want to save your images on your website as keywords. And it's important that you target those that are buyer intent. So on that previous search where I did pressure washing Detroit MI, that is a very specific term that someone types into Google when they're searching for a service. Now that is buyer intent because it's a service in a city together and when someone searches it they're actually looking to make a purchase. Those are going to be the ones that actually translate into potential customers for you. So it's important to know which keywords you need to target in order to maximize the effectiveness of your website. Now one thing I always recommend service-based businesses to do is to make sure that your home page targets your main service area and then you have a separate pages for any other additional areas that you serve. This will allow you to reach the most amount of people possible and be able to target as many keywords as possible so that you can rank in more than one area and be able to capitalize on a lot more search volume. So then you're going to want to put your services as different back pages as well. This will allow you to rank for even more keywords related to specific services within specific places. So it's important to make sure you know exactly which keywords you're targeting. 
Now, if I take a look at that guy's website statistics, I'm going to take a look here. You can see that his UR and his DR is extremely low. Now, this is a trust and power rating, and it's influenced by backlinks. This is how trustworthy and powerful your website is. And a backlink is just a link back to your website. Backlinks are basically a link from another website that comes back to yours. And Google treats these as basically like a big popularity contest. The more people you have linking to you, and especially the more powerful they are, the better you're going to do on Google, the more it's going to think that you're important and you need to rank for that word because, hey, you have all these people vouching for you. It's basically like endorsements from other websites. So they're extremely important. Now, you want to make sure that those backlinks are of very good quality because quality is more important than quantity in this case. You want to make sure you're getting those that are good, high quality, and relevant. Now, what's most important are going to be those keywords. If you take a look here, pressure washing in Detroit, 60, power washing Detroit, 70, pressure washing Detroit, 60. I can go down this list all day long and find you those that are buyer intent, which is a service in a city, add all those volumes together, and you have several hundred people that are looking for your services in Detroit. But then you're also going to be able to target all of Michigan because I did see that on your service area. So if we target all of Michigan, pressure washing Michigan, take a look at your top competitor for that. And to be able to rank in all of Michigan, you're going to be able to capitalize on a lot more search volume. So there are several hundred people. See, this is what I was talking about. Kalamazoo is going to have a different search volume than Detroit. Harrison is going to have a different search volume than Detroit. So with each of those that you're able to rank for, it's going to continue to add to the number of people that are finding your website and able to utilize your services. So it's super important to know what you're targeting and how to go about getting it. I hope that you found this information helpful. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you don't have, if you don't mind, I would love to get some feedback just so that I know this information is helpful or even know if there was something else you rather would have seen. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I hope you have a great rest of your day.